Hi, welcome to Equator. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use this Sharp Scientific Calculator EL546X and also 506X to do the matrix calculations such as matrix determinant, matrix inverse, addition, subtraction, and some other features. So let's get started. To, to do the calculation, we have to store the matrix into one of the memory. So we have four memory, memory matrix A, B, C, and D. And then you do the calculation over the memory. So first you have to store it in the memory and then do the calculation. So press mode and if you scroll with this uh, arrow down and then again, and then you see matrix number four. Now you will see on the screen MAT. So now you're in matrix mode. Let's say you want to store this one. We have uh, three by three matrix and we want to store it in A. So uh, this is three by three, three low, uh, three columns. So just press this lower mm, uh, arrow and it will ask you for the row. So now enter three and then you press this button plus button, which is called data. So press data and it will ask you for the column. Now press three and then press data. Now it asks for matrix that is row one, column one, so seven, and then press data. You see here it says row one, column two. So this row was row one, one, and this is row one, column two. We are in row one, and then column two, and then column three. This is row two. So now I'm entering four, and then press data. Now it's at the column three, which is five, and then data. Now you see we are in column two, uh, row two, column one. So two, I'm entering two and then three and then zero. So two and then data, three and then that, data and then zero and then data. Now we are in row three, column one and then will be two and three. So the values are eight, one and nine. I'm pressing eight, data. Now you see row three, column two, that's one and then data. And the last one, 3, 3, is 9. Enter, just press clear. This is not has been stored yet. So to store it, press mat. And here it says store, press 2. And now you see here, this arrow shows we can go low. So 0, 1, and then you can go down. I'm just showing you. So we press it, and we want to store it in matrix A. Store it in matrix A, press 0. Now this is stored. To bring it back, let's say for some viewing, you press math and then matrix. It says which matrix you want, matrix. Now if I press it, it just shows row, column, 1, and you see all the values. I'm pressing all clear. To enter this value, this matrix into B, just press lower one, and then again this is 3, and then press data, column is also 3, press data. Now it asks for row 1, item 1, so I will enter minus 1, 5, 26. So for minus, I'm pressing this one, minus 1, and then data, 5, data, 26 data now it goes to the second row as you can see this is 3 14 9 so 3 data 14 data 9 data now we are at row 3 on and then here 0 4 and 8 so 0 data 4 data and then 8 data all clear math matrix across on math and then store Two, and now we will store it in B I'm pressing 1 so this is now stored we don't have to check it so you know how to check it now let's add A plus B to do A plus B just press math and then 0 for matrix and then for matrix A 0 and then put plus and then the same way recall the matrix B so math 0 for matrix B plus 1 so that's matrix 1 plus matrix B. Now if I press equal sign, it shows row 3 and then column, it shows row and then column. And then first value, now if you, if you see here, 
you know that 7 minus 1 is 6. You see it has been added, so row 1, column 1, and then row 2, column 2, 9, so 5 plus 4 is 9. So that's the same way you can see all the values. All clear. Now let's do B times A, same thing, matrix B times A this time, matrix 0 for B plus 1 times plus math and then 0 matrix option and then this 0 so matrix B time matrix A and here are the values so all the values are there they are being just multiplied so let's find the determinant of matrix A now press math math number 4 and here 0 determinant so then bring the matrix that you want a determinant for. So math 0 and from matrix A I want to get the determinant. So this means determinant of matrix A. Determinant is A is a number. So here is the answer. Now let's say you want to do inverse of matrix A. So now we want to get, get the inverse of matrix A. So press math and then matrix which is 0 and then matrix A now matrix A is here press shift and then 2 this to the power negative 1 is which makes this inverse press equal sign it says uh, matrix is now 3 by 3 now if I scroll down it shows row 1 1 it will give you this value this is decimal so you can press shift and then this button to convert it to a fraction exact number so now scroll down one two shift this one that's minus 13 over 7 and the same way one three minus 15 over 7 and then minus 18 over 7 two two so this is 23 over 7 and then 3 3 and then 3 1 so that's 3 1 and then it's 3 2 and then 3 3 so these are the values of inverse of that matrix if you want to generate just a identity matrix uh, press math and then 3 and then 4 so identity matrix and then here because identity matrix is a diagonal it's a square matrix identity matrix is the one that has one 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 and then the rest all the values are zero so if you put three it will be three by three if you put two it will be two by two let's say put two equal so now it says row is two column is two and then one zero and then zero one that's it so it will create identity matrix Thank you for watching and this was how you can use this calculator to do matrix calculation.